good morning to you. It must be five o'clock Eastern Standard Time somewhere out there because it's time for another edition of Hardison's Tips. I'm your host, Brad and Hardison. Glad to be with you on this beautiful Wednesday of the 11th day of August in 2021. We're getting close to the half of the month. I hope you're on your goals to get those bonuses for that fast start. If you do have them in your world, if not, let's make sure whatever objective we have set for the month, we're still on track. I'm just going to unpack from where we're still started from this Monday, talking about the beliefs that hinder some salespeople because they're moving away from the basics and trying to morph themselves into something different. You and I both know when it comes to the customers on the other side of the table, if you're not presenting value, it's going to be hard to earn the monies that you expect. So as a trainer, I often confront a difficult obstacle. Everyone has that it stands in the way of you developing more effectively. Too often I see salespeople that are hindered by limited beliefs that prevent them from implementing the best practices, the principles, the processes that can multiply the results. They remain bound by internal barriers of their own conception. Once again, they're not following the basics. They want to reinvent how this whole vertical of sales works. An example would be a customer service representative. They want to move to an outside sales position. Customer service inside wants to go to the outside of sales. Now, the person who's good at his job of reacting to whatever situation that the customer had on the other end of the phone line and responded effectively to the request of all the customers, the person was pretty decent. As a result, he formed a belief that success is a matter of responding effectively to everyone. Not bad for what his skill set was doing in the current customer service rep job. He moves into the outside sales world where he's naturally bringing along the beliefs that he'd had from the inside sales. So in the new position, he continues to operate on the basis of the belief responding effectively to everyone who has requested to see him. As a result, he finds himself spending inordinate amounts of time with small and needy customers and very little time with the larger, more sophisticated customers where there's a higher potential of not only extending your reach to other departments in that organization. As a result of that, his sales were mediocre, although he feels fulfilled. It's not that he just doesn't have the ability to do better. It's just that his beliefs are limitless to what he had learned as a customer service rep. Now, this example illustrates just one of many beliefs that limit the productivity of salespeople. Many of these self-limiting beliefs that are so suitable that they operate beneath the level of consciousness when it comes to the job expectations that your manager needs you to do. 
supporting some behaviors and preventing others without the salesperson being consciously aware of what he or she is doing. So in order to unleash the salesperson to a, a higher level of productivity, these internal beliefs must be challenged, must be exchanged, must be recognized. I must believe in a product in order to sell it. I can't tell you how many times I've heard this. I've heard it frequently from new salespeople and occasionally from experienced reps. It's often pronounced with a bit of smug, a bit of self-righteousness. Their attitude projects in the air that they are the best. That's my position, period. End of conversation. Now, that's bad, too, because as long as salespeople hold on to the belief that he or she will never achieve to their greatest potential, it's dramatically because it holds the person, the organization, or more specifically, the salesperson back when it comes to selling a product or service, and ultimately the influencer of sales behavior. The salesperson's opinion becomes more important than the needs of the customer. I've always said, and you'll hear me, buyers don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And we need to keep that in the forefront. So nothing wrong with going from one form of sales, in this case, inside sales. But once you get outside, there's a different process flow that you need to adhere to if you're going to be successful. Once again, Brandon Hardison, President of Champion Strategies, with another Hardison's tip for today on this beautiful Wednesday, the 11th day of August. And as always in part, you go out and you make it a champion day.